Do 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 do. And we're live. We live. We live. We live. Links are already shared. We're good to go. How's it going, everybody? T will join us in just a second. She's grabbing a quick cup of coffee, and uh, let's see who's in the chat. Vero Claus here early. What's up, Vero? A plus mod. Let's go. Where are we going? Get her done. We're going to try. We made some progress today. I'll show you the progress we made. It's still broken, but like it's less broken or broken in a different way at least. Either one of you have a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield. No, I don't. We don't have a Switch. We wanted to get a Switch, but we just couldn't justify it. We probably wouldn't play it enough and... I don't know. A Switch would be cool. I like the Nintendo Switch. I do. Just haven't. I just haven't picked one up. Need some testers for your thing? Oh, that's cool. What's up, Zeriab? How you doing? Arriving before Vino summons me. Thank you for being here. KB Kingdom, what's up? You have a bot for games in Switch? How does that work, A-plus mods? Vaslin Gonchev, what's up? How you doing? It's good to see you, Vaslin. What's up, what's up, what's up? We are alive, yes. Can you guys hear the music? Do you have the music on? I need more snare in my headphones. It's kind of, yeah, that's probably audible. Sweet, all right, let me show you where we're at real quick. I, we don't have a ton of time today. Sometimes we stream two, two and a half hours, sometimes three hours with these streams. But today we're gonna try to stream just a little over an hour. So I wanna show you right off the bat. Hey, T's here. I'm joined with the lovely, beautiful, talented T. Hello, hello, hello. All right, um, let's, let's show them what we got, okay? Let's do it. I'm gonna, I didn't change much of anything. Oh, I need the server running. Let me start the server. What's up, Polka? Polka Latte's here. Server is up and running. Connect. Make a new account real quick. New account. Boop-a-dee-boop. bop It's my username and password. Nobody, nobody steal it. Aspofoige. Password. Absiofijikaf. I'll be Helmet Man. Lord Helmet Man. I am Lord Helmet Man. Can you, oh, so, honey, could you... Yep, I'm opening it Oh, right you're doing now. it. Thank you. Oh I read God. your mind. Yeah. So, okay, obviously, we've had it working like this. We've had one guy with their trailer following, their, their little event blazer man. This is just to represent that the, what the other player will see. We, we fixed a bug um, that crashes the player if the player is, like, in the login screen and stuff. But if a player is moving while the game is like double clicked and just loading, if the player sin submits an update at that very moment within like a few frames, it will still crash them. So that's something I have to figure out a way out of. So T connected, and this is this is not going to be like a thing that sticks around. This is just to, for now, and still let me know that a new connection was added. So now it shouldn't crash T. She's logging in. She's making an account. I'm moving. It's sending an update on her console log. It's like uh, spamming a bunch of stuff. I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, what is that? Scene map? Function? Scene map? Huh. That's weird. Console log updated. And it's now the console log looks a di little bit different. Cool. Oh, yeah, because I wanted a console more. So check it out. Um, hey. Hello. You named your character Yo Mama? No. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I have to add a new restriction. So I can see T, T moving around, but it doesn't quite work right because um, whatever direction I'm facing will show her character. Mm -hmm. um, also, if I press escape, it crashes. So, yeah, that, that happens. That's a problem. Right. And uh, it doesn't show my, my uh, character on T-screen. Yeah, I can't. I can only see my character. So I've got to do a few things to fix these bugs. 
Um, I'm not sure how. We could draw our own custom scene menu, but I don't know about that, really. I thought I put in a, a little fix to see if that would um, fix it by making it so that press escape to crash. Exactly, Zeria. You, mm -hmm. you open the menu. And it's a if, feature, not a bug. It's a feature right now. If you want to instantly exit and crash, you can with just a quick escape. Go to the menu to crash. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I go to the menu, it works fine. But if someone is submitting an update ping to the server, um, which is like if they're moving at all, then then everybody with their menu open on that map is going to crash. Yeah. So that's not that's not what we want, right? So like I said, baby steps. We were able to see two um, different clients moving on the same screen. And, and so that's the step in the right direction. And that's... Man, it took six days, six days of trying to figure out to get a little baby step from so that we we're not fighting over the same uh, event. What I actually ended up doing was assigning a character name to the event index, not the ID, not the name, not a note tag. No, the event index. So if I if I were to go to like the dot underscore data of game map events it would show me event number one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to event number 23, and then event Drifty, and event Yo Mama, <laughs> and event all the character names. Yeah. And it actually does work, and, and whoa, okay. Sorry. All right, no, it's Just fine. Just trying to adjust my microphone Okay, here. it's cool. You sound like someone got knocked out by a, a bludgeoning object. Bing! That was my fingernail hitting the, the pop filter. Ah. Very sensitive. Joins with nickname Drifty. No, that's the thing, Zeriab. I have to uh, write in uh, some sequelized to not allow that to happen. So let's stop Zeriab from joining the game with the name Drifty. So that's how. That's what we'll do first. We can do that. It's not too hard to do. Big Daddy Waffles is here. What's up, Waffles? Thank you so much for the five bucks super chat. Appreciate that. He says hi all at the doctors again, hoping to get a better uh, cask. Um, tired. Of this bul big bulky crap. Hey. Have a good stream. Hashtag Vino is new. <laughs> Does that mean you don't have to get surgery on your arm? That's amazing. The cast, right? You're yeah. trying to get a, a different get a different cast, but they yeah. they weren't sure if they were going to have to do the surgeries. Oh well, I'm. I hope they don't have to do big bad surgeries. I hope Although the plus side is if they put like rods and screws in your in your arm to fix it, I don't think you have to wear a cast. It just like like locks it in place. Yeah. There's no way you're going to move it around after they put rods savage, on it. Savage, savage. <laughs> but then it doesn't that like even more damage if you actually like force it and stuff? Like I, fall down or something? I have no idea. Bolts ripping through your... Okay, never mind. But my, my mother that. broke her wrist pretty much in half and had to get all kinds of rods and screws and stuff. And I'm, I don't think she had to wear a, a cast afterwards. Wow, interesting. Yeah. I know my brother broke his femur bone when we were kids. He, we had a three-wheeler and it was a quad runner. It was it a three-wheeler? I think it was a three-wheeler. And he ran in, uh, he crashed, and he had an accident and broke his femur bone. And they put, like, a titanium rod in, in on his femur bone. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it was only his leg, because he could have gone head first, and it would have been a different story. Absolutely. Uh, he got lucky by he breaking did. the biggest bone in his body. <laughs> I know, it's, it's interesting where you count yourself fortunate when you break the biggest bone in your body, which is considered one of the most painful things a human can experience. Oh, yeah. But that's fortunate, because it could have been worse. Yeah, my brother's a, a trooper, man. He's a he's a very strong person. Um, let's do some coding. All right. So when the player goes to name their character, let's set something up in the I guess in the engine, right? So let's go to the map where they're doing their login and their character creation. Oh gosh, Waffles has gotten Vero to go over to the dark side. He also hashtag Vino is noob. <laughs> where is Vino, anyways? Vino, where are you? He's busy right now. He's probably driving. There's some weather in New York, so he's probably got to drive yeah, a little slower he's today. Working. Yeah. Drive safe, Vino. Yeah. Please be safe, my driving friends. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where is my damn tower of creation? It was it was inside the login screen thing. All right, tower so of creation. Tower of creation, yes. <laughs> All right, so in name input processing, this is what happens right off the bat. You name your character. And let's store...
Let's run a check. We're going to use game variables. Waffle says, maybe driving and lurking, or maybe he's scared of my power. Um, I guess we can store a character name to send. No, let's just do a, let's just do a send to the server. So we'll do socket, um, clients dot on. Let's make, let's create an event that we're going to use to send to the server. Check name. We're going to use the event check name and we're going to pass in some data. It's just going to be one piece of data. Um, game actors dot actor one dot name function. That's it. We're just going to pass the actor one's name, sending a, an emit, and then we're going to put a wait in here. Half a second. Hmm, I feel like I need to move this page. Let's copy this, paste this. Let's turn this one to be require a switch. We're going to require a switch beyond this is name is not taken or name taken name taken name not taken because I mean let's see if it's on then name is not taken right so we're gonna require that switch 8 name not taken be on for this to happen and what's gonna happen well all of this other stuff is going to happen boom and this will auto run as soon as name not taken is there. We don't need this, actually, because this is going to be part of the beginning. So input a name and emit a signal. Let's wait 30 frames, half a second here, just to give the server a little bit of time to ingest the data. Nom, 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 nom. And that's it, right? So it'll basically stay right there in game until this one the switch so it'll lock the client it'll just lock it up so what we need to do is wait shit auto run oh let's do labels we're gonna use labels so what we'll do is jumped we'll create a label we're gonna put a label um name char we're gonna wait two seconds actually and then we're gonna say um, conditional branch if name not taken is off if the server hasn't turned on the switch after two seconds I don't think we need an else do we no, no else if the server hasn't sent a signal back and said, turn on that switch, after a couple of seconds, we need to jump back to the label. If name not taken is off, which means the name was taken, then jump to label. Name char. But we also need to say, it appears that someone else has already used this name. Please choose another and then we'll word wrap it. Vino's here with a hey, $5 super Vino. chat. What's up, Vino? Thank you so much for the five bucks. Appreciate that. He <laughs> says, hello, friends. Happy Friday. I got my STEM check today. Oh, shit. Money in the bank. Thank yeah, you, Vino, yeah. for throwing it our way. Went out and spent it on pancakes and other breakfast foods that are not waffles. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. And congrats. I'm glad you got some monies today. Who knows the next stream arena may auto rig all those names who use that hashtag. Never know. Got to be careful when you hashtag stuff. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tony Dev? How are you doing? DVD, I see you there. People join in. 
KB Kingdom, it's good to see you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to ask any questions. Right now, we're creating a requirement that you have a unique character name because it requires the game map events to distinguish the um, sprites that are drawn based on the index of the character name. So <laughs> I know it's confusing because usually your index is a number from zero to, or one to, you know, whatever. But we're not using a number for our index. We're using the character name so I can reference and use dot set position, yada yada, on those specific index of character names. I don't know the limitations on this, and this is just another one of the 12 ideas we've tried so far in the last week to make this whole system work. This is one of the most complicated things that I've tried to do inside of RPG Maker uh, so far. Networking is hard because every time you think, oh, this is a perfect idea, in, in theory, you're like, this will work exactly the way that it looks like on my paper diagram. But then you go to do it and you're like, oh, it's updating all of them. Of course it's updating. How do I make it update just one? Oh, it only works on that. When I do it that way, only that client sees the changes. Obviously, because we're only telling that client to do the changes. Okay, make it for all. Oh, no, now they're all fighting over the same thing. Like... It's just a back and forth of like y you think every idea is the is the idea and like oh that'll work perfect I got it and then you do it and you're like oh no that's fundamentally just not going to work okay back to the drawing board it's very very hard to get netcode right and I'm I'm, I'm making a plugin I'm making a server making the server code and a, a MV, MZ plugin to to integrate with um, you know a, a SQL database and socket IO and and I want to do I want to do things that make it so that you can feel that other people are playing the game. It's not just a uh, what is it called the Genshin Impact multiplayer yeah. where it's like oh yeah it's an MMO but you're just like by yourself the entire time right? It's like it sure it's an MMO. I, I played oh I only played a little bit. I got to like something what is it Journey level six or something. But like the whole time I saw not a single other player. I'm like this is not an MMO. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. This is a single player game where it has some multiplayer elements to it. And like that's okay, but they like called it an MMO. So I'm like okay, I'm walking that line. I'm walking the Genshin Impact line here. I'm I'm saying MMO, but it's really like just kind of have some multiplayer functionality. I'm like but. If I can make it so that they can see each other walking around, it will feel more like an MMO. So I was like, this is a feature that I really want to see in this project, but it's been a week and I've made very little progress on it. I've been working on it nonstop, don't get me wrong. I'm trying all kinds of stuff and, and I've had a lot of good help from people. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm reading documentation, I'm watching tutorials, I'm listening to what people say, I'm trying the things that, that they're suggesting. And uh, we're making progress, so that's the good news, we're making progress. World of Driftcraft coming soon. What's up, Benny? How are you doing? Hey, Benny put out a podcast that uh, we guest starred in, the season two, episode one. It was we, awesome, by the way, Benny. Good job editing that together, Benny. It was very fun to listen to last night when I was going mm -hmm. through this code. Yeah. And um, today you're going to be playing Dungeons or Legend of Driftwood, right? At five. We have a lot of projects to do, so we're going to put it on and listen to it while we're working. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to catch that if you're going to be playing uh, my game tonight. Links in the description below to the game he's going to be playing. You can download it for free on itch. It was my, my first labor of love. Are you, playing, on, uh, are you playing it on YouTube, Benny? I hope so, right? Otherwise, well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But if you do it on YouTube, it'll stay, and we can yeah. watch it later, too. YouTube's way better. YouTube's better than Twitch, in my opinion. Down with Twitch. Well, I don't want to say down with them. Down. But, <laughs> I mean, they both do different things, and you know, and they have different things to offer. But I just like YouTube better overall. Mm -hmm. Especially as a consumer, like I don't know, I don't really like put videos out on Twitch. I have, and it was not, you know, too terrible. But they would all be gone. I prefer to consume from YouTube. Consume, Pralisek. Yeah. <laughs> so if after two seconds the. Um, the server hasn't turned on the switch that runs this page, then it'll oh, yeah. say... yeah, Benny says with a little feature by baby. She did join the podcast at the end. Yeah, she That's did. Right. She was also she talking in the background. She had something to say. She, had, she was talking in the background throughout, mm -hmm. but she did join at the end and say some things. And I was like, <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> yeah, she was being Benny adorable. says, I'm playing it on dot, 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 the other thing. And it will be available in video on demand. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for 90 days, and then it's just gone forever. Yeah. Twitch is... Mm. Mm. 
Hey, we're not here. You know here what to though? You can upload the videos on YouTube after what? Is it 24 hours? 24 and hours. Doesn't hate you. Yeah, you can upload the video to YouTube right after you record it. Mm -hmm. Record it locally and live stream it on Twitch. That's a good way to go about it. So Twitch, you still follow their policy and and you, and you live stream it there. But then afterwards, you upload it. So for posterity, for future reference, if you want to go back and look at your work a year from now, you can go back and point to it. Uh, otherwise, it's gone forever unless you made a local recording, but then no one can access your local recording. Right? Mm hmm. Anyway. Let's make sure I've done this right. Two seconds seems to be plenty enough time for that to happen. Let's just, we'll run a test on it and see what happens. What should happen is. Hmm. It should turn the switch on before two seconds. And if it does, then it, this will, it'll skip past this and then it'll run this page. And you'll start to go into the um, show your choices, etc. We can cut this. We don't need to wait on that because we're already waiting over here. We don't need to add buffers. Zeriab we asks, when did you start not being cringed by your own voice? For me, it was two years. Um, I don't know. It depends, like, like how. I still get cringed at my own voice. Yeah. It just, but it depends on how long ago and what was I saying. Like, like I, I, I would say, like, does the cringe affect you talking in the microphone right now? No. Yeah, like, like that stopped my, happening a couple years after. You mean how how long do you have to like live stream for you to be comfortable on the microphone? A couple years, probably. Yeah. Maybe a year if you're already like performing and stuff, mm -hmm. or like you do public speaking and stuff. Um. I, but but if I look go back and listen to my audio and like from a five year old video or six year old video, I'm like, oh my god, it's <laughs> the music's way too freaking loud. No no not it's audio. all on one Your side. Your voice. But it, but I cringe at the entire package. I cringe <laughs> at my creation, right? Not just my the sound of my voice. I, I wish I could pick my voice. You know, if I could have picked my voice, it wouldn't be the one I have. Then, but that will never go away. How about you? Would you have picked your voice or would you have made it like a little deeper or well, I mean, would you I would, have changed it a little bit? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not like dissatisfied with things here. I, uh, I, you know, obviously there's a baritone. I'm not a baritone. <laughs> some people have that natural baritone, but it, it, and it's good in some situations and it's not good in some situations. So everything has its pros and cons. And I think mm -hmm. you should just love the voice you got. I and, would, I would want a more girly voice. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think if I had an alto, I'd be able to sing those higher notes better. And it, if I had a baritone, I would sound better in the low range. Uh -huh. But, you know, most people are, most guys are tenor and uh, I'm also tenor. So it's just, you know, it's whatever. I really don't care. You know, the thing is to make the best of what you got and don't worry about if, what you could have had or what you would have picked because that's irrelevant information. My grandpa used to say, you can wish in one head and shit in the other, but you could, you'll know which one fills up faster. Mm -hmm. You know, you see which one fills up faster. Something yeah. like that. Those old, old, old time sayings that people are like, it would be too offensive now. Yeah. I, I tell my kid. No, the one thing I don't use is I brought you into this world and I can take you out of it. Oh, yeah. I don't threaten to murder my kids. But that was something that was extremely oh, common. My when mom and I were used that up. one on me a lot. She yeah. would tell me <laughs> that quite often. But I was a good boy. So it worked. It worked. <laughs> he lived through childhood. You know, it was a different time when a mom would he tell wants you Echo's to Echo's voice? No. No, I don't. A little I, more girly. I lived... I lived through the time where the mother could threaten violence on you and it wasn't CPA involved. <laughs> it was just normal behavior. Uh, my mom yeah, would CPA throw CPA would be there going, mm-hmm. Like, you get him. <laughs> that boy is misbehaving. <laughs> you tell him, girl. My mom used to tell me to <laughs> go, if I messed up or did something stupid that was really bad and I knew better, she would make me go out into the backyard and pick a branch off the tree. I would pick the branch mm -hmm. for her to beat me with it. Yeah, I've had that experience and, as well. Um, yeah, that was a thing that happened. I told, I, the worst thing I probably tell my kids is that if they don't like my house rules and what, what they are in the house, if they don't want to respect what I say, then they can live on the lawn. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw them food every once in a while. Keep them alive. The bare minimum. The bare minimum. <laughs> Okay, so what we need to do is run a check. We need to run. A, we need to force the server to send an eval. Um, we're, we're emitting um, something, right? What are we emitting? Let's see. It's going to send a socket client on check name. 
So we're sending, we're telling the server, the client is telling the server, hey, check name of this name. So that's going to, and it's going to pass data. So we need to go to the server and write that listener. So let's go do that. Inside the main connection, which is the IO on connection, let's write a listener chat message game ping. Here we go. We'll just write it right here. Socket.on. When we hear check name, we know we're going to be passed the data of char name. And then what we're going to do with that char name is make a, we're going to use it, we're going to do a function real quick. So we're going to be passing that data through a function. We're going to use the arrow function, do this. Um, not that. We're going to do this, oops, this, and this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and what we're going to say is we're going to have to sequelize. We're going we're gonna to do some sequelization here. We're going to use player save files. So what will we do? We're going to do a const, a constant, constant player name equals await. This has to be in a synchronous function now because we're going to use await. And we need it to do it in time before it goes forward. So we're using a synchronous function, arrow function, and we're going to await player save files. That's a, a, a model file. That's a, that's a data table. And now we're going to access the SQL uh, server. Dot find one. This is some SQLized code that helps me look through the data where this is a conditional inside SQLize that lets me search for specific things. So I'm going to look at the, the data table so I know exactly how to spell it. We're going to go to player save files. And it will be name. Whereas they're just looking for name. All right, so we know it's name. So we're going to say where name is char name. Right? And if so that's going to run a fetch. We're querying the database right here. And now we can do a conditional statement. We're going to say if player name. And what that's going to say is if it found data. If it found data, then we're basically going to do nothing. If we did not find data. So yeah, we wanted to do something if we did not find data. So if we did not find any data, so we did not find in all of the player save files where someone named their character, that name that the person picked, then we're going to run an eval. So we're going to do an emit. We're going to send an emit to a listener that already is listening on this side, which is run eval. Because I knew I'd need to do a lot of run eval. So what we're going to do is pass in some code that we want to evaluate on the client. And what we want to do is toggle a switch, which is this one over here, the conditions to make this page happen. So switch number eight. So let's go to um, socket. Or no, we're going to do an io.emit. No, we're going to send it to the specific client that sent the check name. IO.2 oh. socket ID. Corey, no. Five dollar super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. How you doing, man? Appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day today. Appreciate the five bucks. So no stream yesterday. My life was a joke. I almost jumped. Oh God, no. Corey, look, <laughs> Corey. we said it a week ago that I had an appointment <laughs> on Thursday. And and I had you know, I let people know and if and I also put it on uh I put it over here, man. I was like, you got to check official. Look, yes, look right here. Look, I put it up. We mentioned last Friday, but I forgot. We have an appointment tomorrow. So no stream tomorrow. Sorry, everyone. Blah, blah, blah. We'll be streaming on Friday, which is today. So, I mean, I, I make sure people know what's up. If we're not going to be streaming, people will know we're not streaming. I say it usually a week ahead of a time or as soon as I know. Sometimes it's last minute, but um, I try to keep everybody informed. I'm sorry that I didn't at you. I didn't feel it was like appropriate to at people all the time. But if you want, I can let you know personally next time that we're going to have a day off. 
If you want, Corey, I will do that. <laughs> I'll let you know, like, hey, we're not going to be streaming on this day, just so you know. But thank you for the five bucks, and um, let me know if you want a personal notification when a schedule update isn't there. Because I understand you're driving. You can't always just scroll and look and read while you're, while you're driving and stuff. So, um, you know, I'll keep you up to date. What we also need to do is pass in one thing. We have to pass in, uh, well, another thing. We need to give the player's name, but we also need to pass in the socket.id, socket client.id here. So we're passing two pieces of data in check name. The name of the actor that they just named and the the ID of the connection. In fact, I'm going to do a just a brief wait because sometimes I've noticed with these networking things, the smallest little 10 frames is sometimes all you need to make the process work right. So I'm going to reduce this one by uh, half a second and just add 10 frames after they process because then the name can be then the name can be added and, and 10 frames go by and then we run the check, you know, and then a second and a half later it should be queued and, and going and doing the thing. <laughs> no, Corey, my life is the joke. Literally, check my avatar, bro. <laughs> Sir Legna, send me a letter of notice. <laughs> <laughs> 48 hours prior. 40, uh, yeah. yeah. 72 hour notice in writing. I don't think so. Can you register the nick with five? Well, it's not a nickname. It's the character name. We're not even using nickname at this point. I mean, I'm sure you can name yourself one number if it's not been taken yet. I think yeah. those ones will get taken pretty quickly. Yeah, you can totally use one letter, one number. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Corey Davis with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate it. He says, uh, Hey, Drift, I almost jumped. No stream. I was at a loss for what to do with those two hours of my life. It was unbearable. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Corey. Don't jump. Don't jump, man. You know what you could do is just send me a message. Send you know, me a funny. message I was actually, on Discord. I was actually tempted to do an impromptu stream last night, just like starting a plugin, just how to do register plugin commands and register plugin par parameters. Could have done like it. Just basics. You could have done it. I was I was actually staring at you, thinking, can we hook up my microphone? And then I was like, nah. <laughs> We could. All we have to do is take the USB from yeah. here and put it over there. We set it up so that my computer can use Drifty sound system. It's not as, like, you know, there's some differences. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, the microphones are on the wall. Like, they're attached to these holders on the wall, um, which, like, like ex extended boom standy thingies, which are really cool. But they are locked in place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. but, but well, it can still work. Uh, yeah. So, I mean... That could happen. I, I know that. I Wait, was, hold on. We've got another close. $5 super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. appreciate that. He says, hi, Vaseline. How you doing? Uh, and another thing is we didn't have a stream, but we also still made an appearance yesterday, kind of, because we a couple weeks ago we recorded um, a couple hours with Benny, and he edited together a nice uh, podcast where we're on mm -hmm. it. So you could have listened to the podcast of us, but it's just not live. It was recorded, recorded and edited, so... Vaseline? Yeah, Vaseline. Vaseline. That's an insult? I don't know if it's an insult. It's just a way to say a name. Corey's notorious for calling everyone by the wrong name, and it doesn't even bother me at all. He calls yeah. me all kinds of stuff. Look at me today. I'm H-Drift. <laughs> Usually I'm T. T-E-E. -E. T -E -E, but yeah. it's pronounced the same. So it sounds the same. That. It doesn't yeah. matter. Hey, Drift, it's all good. I don't care. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't phase me. Just the other day, T called me Druft or something. I did, Druft. She's like, she said and something. And then I laughed really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Vino says, when Drifty doesn't stream, you could always watch past streams that you've missed. Yeah, that's what I like about YouTube, going back into um, Corey doesn't YouTube miss better. streams. What are you talking about, Vino? He comes to all our streams. Well, I guess that makes sense. If you haven't missed any, <laughs> then um, what do you mean watch past streams? He's yeah. seen them. Well, I don't know. I do have 13, 1400 videos on the channel. I doubt anyone here has seen all of them, nor should you. There's some old, old ones that do not apply to everyone there, for sure. 
Um, so we're passing more data, right? We're sending check name, but we also need to say the client ID so that we can specifically emit a signal back to this client and not all clients. We don't need to, to pass data to everyone that only applies to that client. So instead of using io.emit, we're going to say io.2 socket ID, but we're also not going to use socket ID here because it won't actually work. What we can do is pass socket ID into the data and spe specifically reference that socket ID that was sent because the socket ID for the connection would be different. So Linga, I want to, you do, he said he had a joke for me, right? So I'm reading it and it says, what has a T in the beginning, a T in the middle and a T at the end. And then he just answers the joke. Oh You're yeah. You're not supposed to answer the joke. A teapot. <laughs> You're supposed to give people a chance. I was supposed to think about it. For, Sir, now, now you have to give me a riddle. Give me a riddle that I have to think about. What have I got in my pockets is? <laughs> <laughs> There's your riddle. I demand a riddle. <laughs> so, Linga, you OT a riddle now for yes. answering too soon. <laughs> so we're, what we're doing here is we're saying send specifically back to the person who sent the check name. So it's whispering, the, the client whispered, all the clients are whispering to the server, not to other clients. But the server usually, it can broadcast to all the clients or it can whisper back to specific clients. But when one client says, hey, can I use this name? The other clients don't need to know anything about that check and balance that's going on right there. Balance, no, no, just check, no balance there. The check that's going on right there. And so what we're doing is having the server whisper back to that client, uh, io.2, this socket ID only, emit. And then we're going to emit an event back. We're going to use the run eval. $10 super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate it, man. He goes, nah, Vino, if there's no stream, then I hate to talk to humans. And that makes me feel bad for having to talk to humans. No! It hurts inside to talk to humans in person. Now, here's the thing I can sympathize with. Because I also am not a people person IRL. If you see me at a store, I don't want to talk to you. I want to get my groceries and leave, right? If you see me at, at a place, I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to just be left alone, do my thing, and go. The only exception for that is if I'm performing, if I'm going to be uh, in a band or, or doing a song or, you know, like... Doing something where I'm giving a presentation, I am okay with interacting with people because I, I don't know why. I can't even tell you why that happens in my brain. I'm not a psychologist. I don't know. But all I can tell you is how I feel. But here's the difference, though. When I'm live streaming, I guess it's it kind of plays into the whole because I'm presenting something. I, I love the interaction, and I love engaging, and I love the communication, and I, and I love people. But when I'm just, like, trying to go shopping, I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to get my groceries and go. I know, Sir Linga, because they only serve fast food. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Appreciate that. $2 super chat from Vaselin Ganchev. Thank you for the super chat, Vaselin. Appreciate that. Vaselin's shouting back at you, Corey. Vaselin says, hey, Corey, I have a birthday and also want stream. Sad face. We, we try our best to stream as much as we possibly can. We have a lot of work uh, around this time of year and a lot of improvements <laughs> that we have to make, a lot of packaging and stuff. Oh, a lot of Sir Ling is sad that I got the joke. <laughs> Yep. You, you gotta give right. me another one. You gotta you gotta give me jokes until you stump me. <laughs> there was supposed to be a long space between the two. I will give it yes, another Yes, why doesn't McDonald's serve S cargo? And what did you say? Because they only serve fast food. Oh, it's snail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He's like, You you already got it. <laughs> it's not satisfied with the level of how quick you got that. <laughs> I had to think about it though. That was kinda hard. Uh, let's emit the run eval. I've already got a listener for run eval. I, I, did I spell it this way? The spelling is important. It has to be spelled exactly right. So I'm camel casing a lot of these things. I think I'm going to go through and, and make some sort of naming convention that specifically camel cases most functions and maybe all caps for the bigger, lar larger functions. The reason why there's a mixture of um, naming, because I wasn't sure if I could use the same listener, the same name as an emitter and a listener for two different things, which you can as long as one is on the server side, one is on the client side. So you can emit and intermap um, uh, 
to the server and the server can be listening for intermap and the server can emit an intermap and it won't interfere with thing as long as the spelling matches the way the client's listener is so uh, i had to learn a lot of things also in one of my earlier videos when i first started using socket i said that you can use connection and connect interchangeably that is incorrect i want to correct myself on that connection is for the server side io socket connection only and that is to maintain the socket connection so this is setting up a connection for other clients to connect so the other clients can connect you can use connection and connect on the server side but what that would do is say when a a socket connects you're running an event so connect is is automatically used um, when a socket first connects to the connection so server side you need connection and on client side you don't even need the connect but if you want something to happen when you connect you can make something happen but it will still you can still use listeners without a connect but it won't work if you don't have connection on the server side I just want to clear that up because I've been doing some more reading Anyway, we're emitting an event right now called the run eval, which the, the client side is listening for. So we're on the server side. We need to pass it some data. The data that we want to pass into here is going to be a switch change. So we want to do um, something like this, dollar sign game switches dot set value of eight to true. We don't need an end line in here because if we pass the end line, the end line, what will happen is it will mess everything up. Here's why. When we send this data back, we whisper it back to the client. The client is going to be listening for it. And let's go to that listener and we'll, I'll show you where it would place the data and why an inline would mess it up. So it's going to receive that as code, and then it's gonna run the code here. But if we put an end line inside the code, what's gonna happen is it's gonna have a code with an end line right there. And you can see it's gonna mess it up because it was expecting this symbol, the brace, the parenthesis. Instead, it ended line prematurely. So we don't send the end line, we send the raw code, and we let the, the run eval event add the end line at the end of the entire execution of that code, evaluation of that code. So we don't pass through the end line. But that's all we're doing. We're, we're going to send whisper back this to the client. It should work. So if, um, let me look at it. What do, what do we have here? We're making a simple check. We're saying, look inside of the player save files. And if a name has the name that was passed into this check name from the client, then don't do anything. But if it does not, then whisper back and turn on a switch. That's what should, should happen. And now it's up to us. Uh, inside the the actual game to set up our events that would work in a way that gives the server and the SQL database time to process that and also for it to like sync up we've got to play like this little this little timing game and it, it's a fun little process that um, it's in, it's very frustrating if you don't get it right but um, I don't know I guess it's part of the craft of doing it so hopefully 10 frames is enough for it to store this before the emit. The emit. It should be one frame should be good. Uh, and then uh, a second and a half should be enough for it to toggle the switch if, if it's needed. So if the switch is off, it's going to say the name was taken because it's going to do nothing, right? Run the check and do nothing or it'll lag. Otherwise, if the server is not responding, you'll never get past this point. So this is a, another good hard check that stops the player from joining a game when the server is not on. So anyway. I think that should work. Now we have to test it. And in order for me to test multiplayer at this point, because we've done changes to the game, I'd have to reload it, uh, resend a new update copy to T. So we'll just be one, uh, just me testing this one for now. And then we get to a stable point where we've made some good progress. We'll, oh yeah, let me start the server, huh? See if the server starts. Seems to be going. Map seven connection goes. New account, bada bada boom, smoopy tippy toppy. Stead as diff. We will be Green Cape Man. Named Drifty. It appears that someone else has already used this name. Please choose another. Drifty 2. 
It appears someone else has already used this name, but it's just another drifty dumbo. Dumbo. <laughs> it appears that someone's right. No, that's so it's broken. Because I don't think I have that You're in there. You're not allowed to choose names. Drifty dumbo. What are you thinking? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so at first I thought it was working, but I now because I don't think I've made Drifty Dumbo yet. Can you not open two instances to test multiplayer? I no. can if I deploy it. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to deploy it because I've had some problems with deploying. and You can't I, test play two instances, though. So. You can't test play two no. instances, no. Could use a laptop, but he's got me. Why would he do that? I can just open it. Do, 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 do. So what's happening in the event? Let's look at the event. Let's close this. Let's look at the event. What is actually happening? We need a console log, right? So let's do a console log on this. Console.log. Socket client sent check name event four dollar sign game actors dot actor one dot name function if I want to ES6 this which I should I can also send the data So I can do this, and then boom, boom, boom. Did I not copy it? I thought I copied it. Copy. Paste this. But what I want to do is make it more legible. We also want to add a console log on the server. So on the server side, let's on check name, let's run a console log here. Console.log. When stuff doesn't work, the first thing you do is let's pass the data, make sure it's getting what it's supposed to get. Um, checking. Oh, okay. Check name event fired. Data passed. Char name. Socket ID. All right, and then we'll put one in here. This will say console.log. Exclamation player name was not found. Oh wait, did I mess that up? If player was found, we turn it, oh okay, so it's not firing. So it's just looping over and over and over. Maybe I messed up on the event and didn't set my conditions. So this needs to be on. So if this switch is on, it'll read, this looks right. Over here it says, if the switch is off, tell them that it appears someone else has already used this name. Okay, so that looks right, double checking. And we're saying if it is not finding someone's name, then turn the switch on. That looks also correct. Let's do it again with some console log. Player name was not found. So if we see that, then we know we went in here, it's just not running this back. We should also automatically get a console log for the eval if, it, if we receive that. So we'll check that too. So let's do it again. Vino with a $2 super chat. Sorry for the, the delay on that. I was into it. I was in the moment. Thank you. Appreciate the two bucks. Vino says, you're only allowed to camel case on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how it works. I have to check. If the that documentation. were true, the coding world would be paralyzed. Hey, C-Strive91. How are you doing? Are you saying that MZ needs await commands? Can you not open up two instances to test multiplayer? Oh, yeah. We already talked about that. Testing with a friend is easier. Vaslin says, don't lose faith. You'll figure it out. Yesterday, I lost my hard drive. Oof. Dang, that sucks. But still have hope to recover the data. 
The hope is all we have. Oh, oh. It's, it's such a terrible time. That has happened to me. Yeah, oh, I've God. had at least two hard drives fail. I think I've had two of them total fail. Um, yesterday, the USB drive that is supposed to be 32 gig, you mm -hmm. know, the USB 2.0 one is really slow. It had 16 gigs free, but it said it was out of space. Because <laughs> it, it was using half of its 32 gig. Wow, that's and really useful. So I think it was like a borked. It was yeah. actually a 16 gig that got borked. Jeez. So it's it was marketed as a 32 gig, and it even said 32 gig on it. Like if you go to properties and show data, but it wouldn't let me add 700 more megabytes, even, even though it only had like 15 lame. gigs on it. Yeah, like. That's so lame. It's like it was a. You know, we did get it cheap. Mm -hmm. We bought it at like a, a BJ a wholesale, store. Yeah. A wholesale store. Yeah. Yeah, we got it pretty cheap. So I was like, wow, that's pretty good for 32 gig. But, but it's it, a sand disc. I know. That's that's really like bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Come on, sand disc. You're going supposed to, to be the people. I'm going to try that again today because I just I just safely removed and then I said, forget it. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. It was so slow. I was like, let's just use the NAS instead. Yeah. Wow. ITRM is going up, baby. Yeah, well, it's yes, recovered. It's it was recovering. at it was at two, but it's supposed to go up even further. Yeah, we got in at one thirty eight, and then I bought some more at like one sixty eight or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's not get distracted. <laughs> it's like watching. It's like it's better than watching sports. It is. The stock market is like <gasps> fun to watch. GameStop was going nuts today. Which I don't even understand how they're still in business. They're going to die. I don't I don't get it. It's, it's got to be some null. fake stuff. The USB is broken or it's fake, says Vaseline. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. It was like a spoofed one. Corey Davis with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Corey. He says, I sent you something. Bro, you did. Let's see what you sent us. Well, you automatically already sent us the $5. Appreciate that for the super chat. And you've been super chatting. Appreciate that. Here we go. Corey Davis sent you $20 USD on uh, on PayPal. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We're going to put that on Wall of Heroes right now. Okay. Let's just go ahead and put it in Wall of Heroes real quick. And it says dot, 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 dot. Maybe I... Was there more? No, that's not how it... Act so this is done. This is it. Let's go like this. Boom. Let's go to Wall of Heroes. I appreciate that very much so thank you boom 20 bucks from Toronto gaming make sure we add his handle there guys he has a YouTube as well Toronto gaming gamer and I've got a link to his itch page and the bottom you can go check that out where he's selling music he just started but he's adding more Corey Davis sent us 20 bucks PayPal he says okay first thank you, Corey vast up happy B day my B day is Sunday I think whatever day the 24 is Second, humans tend to hate me, so I figure I should need to avoid humankind before I have to defend myself. And almost all humans find my way of thinking to black and white, which in, in return has left me with no humans in which I can relate to. Example, leaving me to only have one human in my whole life that I could relate to, and that human is me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I understand Lonely where you're... Island. I, I understand... Um, on some level, obviously everyone's different, but I understand on some level where you're coming from with this. I used to feel very black and white too, but I've turned into a gray pile of mush over the years. You've turned into a gray pile of mush yep. over the Big years. Gray pile Somebody of mush. caption that at twee, uh, twee, T <laughs> twenty twenty one twee. I twee. I've I should have made that my nickname. That's even better. I my name twee. Twee. <laughs> I've turned into a gray pile of mush over the years. Yes. That's exactly what's That's happened a, to me. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate that. That is, that is a, uh, yeah, probably accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run it again and check our console log. how would you describe your wife? Uh, a gray, gray pile, pile of, of mush. mush. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very flattering. Well, it's her words. <laughs> this doesn't need to block so much. Let's bring this up a bit. Let's bring this down a little bit. Bring this over here. New account, bada bada bing, bada bada boom boom, fifi. Drifty should be taken. Okay, so this is code ran from the run eval listener. 
the data passed through is game switch set value six false. Wait, what? Oh, that's for something else. Socket client send check name event for game actors one dot name drifty. So it did send that, but it didn't, it was taken. So what if we call this? There we go. Drifty one device zero nine ten. It lets you do it? Nope. Boo. It said it was, how is it still taken though? Cause I don't know. How are you matching them? Exact? This data. Is it, is it finding Drifty and saying, no, it doesn't work? Have you tried to put like, boo boo poopy head? I don't know. Bobo poopy head? <laughs> nah. No, it's just not doing the sequelize. It's oh, not. is the server on? The server is running. Okay, so the server is being queued. Does have connections. Hmm. So what's happening is the condition is never being met. Okay, so it's a conditional. I have to update the conditional. That's what's going on. Another $10 super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate that. You're being very generous with us and we love you. Thank you. Although that may sound depressing, it is actually my preference. Preferred actually, way my preferred way to live. Go figure. And I'll be doing my first stock stream. To stock stream. Hi, Poo. Got to, go, got to go pick up my new truck. New truck. First this stream. Oh, shit. Nice. Corey got a new truck. That's awesome, dude. Is it tricked out? You got it. You got it, one of those wicked sleeper trucks where you got like a bathroom and a kitchenette. Is it like a... Uh, is it and like flames on the side? Does it come with like a permanent 5G uh, connector to like every satellite in the world? <laughs> That's what you need, man. You got to get that that streaming speed. <laughs> serious, serious internet. He's like on the run. He's on the he's on the go and he's permanently 5G'd. That's awesome, Corey. Um, put a link in the self promo as well, and uh, I'll, I, I'm definitely gonna go check it out. I love. Um, I love stock stream stuff. Uh, we, we are going to be doing a lot of work around the house. So what I'll do is have it turned on and turn the volume up mm -hmm. while we're working around the house. Yeah. So that we can have some stuff to listen to while we're getting our work on. So I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it's this conditional, right? So maybe I can't use not player name. Um, I can say if player name dot name does not equal char name that's a different condition now so now we're saying the data row dot name inside of the player name save file so if the name is not the char name then send this to turn the switch on and and say that the player name was not found player name was not taken that's really what it is because it's found stuff so was not already taken. Let's try that. Once again. So Lagna says console up. log the conditional and see what value it returns. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, ass that. I'm assuming it's something to do with the conditional brand or conditional statement. And so I'm updating that. And I'm going to try a couple things and see if that gets us around the little hiccup. Not Cyber Baron. This one. Okay, there we go. Connect. Time to make a new account. That's my name and password. Don't be copy it. We're gonna be blue haired spiky Have fun, man. Corey. Take care, Corey. Thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. Appreciate it. All right, I'm I'm about to go hit the road again. Drive safe, man. We hope to see your stream tonight. Um, keep us up to date on the self promo channel, on the Driftwood Driftwood Gaming. Uh, Discord. Links in the description below. Come join us on Discord, everybody. Okay, let's see if Drifty's taken. Drifty, it is taken, right, of course. But what about D-Boy? Was D-Boy taken? Something else, is, something else is up. It's not console logging. It's not console logging inside the conditional branch. So we need to see... It. I mean, it's going to return object, object. Let's do some console logging for what our SQLize is returning. So 
We already got a console log here. Let's see what our server is saying. Save slot, socket ID. Wait, is this not happening? Is it not running the thing? Check name. Socket on check name. Are we sending? Hold on. Is that is our event not set up right? Socket client dot on. Oh my god! You know what I'm doing wrong here, guys? Uh, I'm 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 creating a listener on this frame instead of an emitter. I have to make an emitter. It's not even sending. It's not sending at all. It's not getting to that point. So how you do that is you do socket client dot emit. Oh my gosh. Not listen for check name. Send the check name event. That's the problem here. You were being too good at listening and not good enough at gabbing. That's right. I needed to send, I needed to talk more and listen less. This is the lessons in life. Talk more, listen less. Just kidding. Don't do that. It's usually a bad idea. But in this case, it's what we need to do. It's what we have to do. So I'm, the, the last condition probably would have worked. But maybe this one will too. Maybe this one will too. Now we do the testies. This time it'll work for sure. Maybe. No, for sure. I want to have the console up. I'm going to bet all my chippies on it. Because I need to be consoled every now and then when stuff doesn't work. New account. I'm going to delete the database pretty soon. We're gonna be Helmet Man. This guy's my favorite. Drifty, are you taken? <gasps> yeah, yeah, it is actually taken. Okay, but what about one, two, three, A, B, C, dude? Are you taken? No. No. Woo! It's not. I told you it was gonna work. Yeah. This is code ran from the Run Eval listener. The Yay. data pass through is game switches dot set value eight true. Um, unbelievable. Did it not send the console log here, though? Save slot, socket ID. What was our console log again? Mm -hmm. Oh, um. Player name was not already taken. Hmm. Why did it not do this console log, though? Oh, did I not save it? Maybe. No, it, it, I did. Did I miss something, Boro? Hold up. I wish I could speak with money. Did I? I'm going to scroll and see what you said. Did you say something bad? Or, I mean, not bad. Did you say a thing? Did you say a thing? I don't see you asking a thing. Did, did, did Boro? I missed a question. Really? It's already three? Oh my gosh. No, 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 Time no, no. flies when you haven't fun. No, 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 I gotta do one thing. <sighs> one thing, one thing. We walk around, walk around. Don't make me lose myself, honey. I like to be a clown on the internet. So that's working. Okay, so I mean, we did the th that, that thing, right? It, oh, that he asks, thing. where does Corey Davis stream? Check out Borobi. Uh, go to our self promo. He links them there. Links in the description. Yeah. Uh, there's a link to our Discord. There's links all over the place. Man. And the Discord will take you to the self-promo channel that you can see to see what everyone in this community is doing that, that chooses to post there. And some people don't know, but I also, like, fork their data. So, like, when they make an update, it posts their stuff there. So you can see what other people are doing, even though they're not, like, posting on our Discord. But it still shows what they're doing anyway, because I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I made a thing, I forgot to play it. How's it going everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and join us on Discord. Alright. Guys, I have to go. I d trust me, I want to do more. I don't want to go. I have to do more boring stuff. I have to do I have to do less fun stuff, is how I should say it. I have to do less fun stuff. But, you know, we did make it a, a unique thing. We, we did a cool thing. 
So now no two players can have the same name. There's still something not quite uh, happening, right? Because I think it's skipping past the console log here. Maybe they'll wait for this to happen and then da 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 da. I don't know. Did it send the, ch the console log? Check name event fired. I didn't see that come up on the server side. Did, is it happening? It, it's not happening. Oh, you know what? Guys, you know why it's not happening? I also have to restart the damn server if I make a server change. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Listen, listen, I'm not Girl, done hell yet. yes. I may, I may have broken it. Something about a party dress. Okay, I, T, I love you so much, honey. You're letting, <laughs> you're just amazing. I know we've got work to do. We're going to do it, but. I'm getting my club out. Uh, <laughs> we, we do have a very, very vicious looking baseball bat in here. <laughs> no, my favorite is like, it's a big, long paper towel roll. I think it was from like. Uh, wrapping paper. Uh huh. And I like to threaten to beat the kids with it. It's great. Here it is. Check name event fired. Data passed through. It was Drifty Socket ID. It was taken, so it didn't <laughs> let us do it. So we have to rename ourselves to be 09J3 REFMF. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Why is this live? Why did that just go live all on its own? Okay, no, no. YouTube, stop doing that. It appears that someone else has already used this name and it crashed. Cannot read property name of Null. Bro, why you know do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Because listen, listen. If it doesn't exist, how can it have a dot name row? Right, right. So our first thing is the best thing. We have to say if it doesn't exist mm -hmm. or if it is null, right? Mm -hmm. Let's restart this. So my first thing was the right thing. Quite often, your first guess is the right guess. Sometimes you just don't do the syntax right, like I was doing with the object. I was going to get to that if I had more time to show how I added player uh, players to an object. To be continued. But that's going to have to be for next week. We do have first impressions next week, too. Um, but we gotta get we gotta get back to where this system's working again, which I believe it will now. We'll see. We'll see if it'll work. Connect. We're gonna connect. We gotta do a new account named Chuba Dabash and we do Bing Bing. And then we we check to see if Drifty will say that's taken, because it should say no, that name is taken. And that name is taken, but now if we do like mm, fada, da, da, boom, boom, that guy, that name with a comma at the end should not be taken, and it Yay. let us go. Okay, guys, love you very much. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I hope you guys get a lot of progress done in your projects. Have a fun time. Play some games. Get inspired. Um, say some good stuff on the Discord to people who are doing cool stuff. We love you very much. We will see you guys on Monday, hopefully. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff that we have to do. Stay tuned in the Discord. Discord to let us know what was that voice it was an autoplay a video autoplayed because I was like set to go live thing and I was just listening to some other some other person went live and I was going to listen to that but we were also live and and, and I didn't tell it to play it just played on its own because YouTube has its things that does that that's what it was but anyway love you guys very much we'll see you guys Monday 2 p.m. EST most likely stay tuned on the discord we normally stream two to um, whenever two to three two to four two to five uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time Monday through Friday so we're we're not going to be live streaming tomorrow or Sunday, but we'll see you Monday. Love you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, so Thank you, Thank you for coming. Like you guys are awesome. Have channel. a wonderful Enjoy weekend. I hope your life is wonderful all How's weekend. Going, everybody? We'll see you again on Monday. Like and then your life stays How's wonderful when we'll see you again on Monday. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. and Say that again to you? No. They got it. They totally weren't distracted by the loud noise coming from this It was just the accompaniment. It was good. It's even better when there's like people talking. You can't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye. bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. We got to go. Dang it. I, I want.